myself. I thank God for Jesus and his preemptive ministry of intercession. It was because of Jesus' preemptive ministry of intercession that Peter didn't have a total eclipse. Oh, the denial should have set him back. The failure should have set him back. The embarrassment should have set him back. Possibly walk away from his assignment. But even though he made a colossal mistake, the, at the end of the day, his faith did not fail. Not only was it because of Jesus' preemptive intercession, but also because of Jesus' position as intercessor. You see, not only does Jesus live, God help me preach, to make intercession, but Jesus stands in the office of intercessor. You see, there's a difference between intercession and the office of an intercessor. It's one thing to participate in the ministry of intercession, but it's another thing to stand in the office of an intercessor. See, all of us pray intercessory prayers, but not all of us stand in the office of an intercessor. Intercessors can pray all night. Intercessors, by their nature, choose to be a mediator on behalf of those who cannot intervene for themselves. Intercessors make requests. Intercessors urge. Intercessors bleed, plead. Intercessors beg. Intercessors counsel. Intercessors risk sacrifice. They make war relating to the issues that weaker ones are facing and thus have an impact on the final income outcome for those that they stand in the gap for. I'm going to 